is for waterfront. Well guys, welcome back to another video. It's great to be back out. It's a lovely, peaceful morning, just watching the sunrise come up. Or, well, what you can see of the sun, because what's happening at the moment, we've got a lot of wildfires here in British Columbia. And if you look over towards the mountain, all that haze is fires. It's all the smoke coming from inland. Uh, we did get a little bit of a sunrise there, but it was snuffed out by some high cloud that we've got today. Uh, but a lot of that cloud's probably gonna burn off later on which is ideal for what I've got in mind today. I am going to be doing more street photography. You've probably seen that I made my way into downtown very early this morning. Wanted to get up nice and early and it just makes it easier to photograph subjects. The sooner you get out, the less people. So it's easier to single subjects out, just like I said in my last video. Now it is long weekend here in Vancouver, so I am going to spend the next couple of days out see what images I can make, see what I can come up with and try out some new locations as well. Now I'm down at Canada Place this morning, I've started the morning off here and then I'm just literally going to walk the streets and see what we can get. Now tomorrow there's normally a Pride Festival on here every year in Vancouver but unfortunately this year it's been called off due to the Covid uh, but I've got a good feeling that there might still be people dressed up so I want to head there tomorrow, see if I can get some images of people dressed up on the street now that's a good reason to go to events and festivals like i said to you in the past if you do feel a bit uneasy doing street photography it's a lot easier at events and festivals because people actually want the photographs taken so it'll settle you in if you've never done street photography before so let's see what we can get up to date it's, it's great to be back I'm excited to see what we can come across I'll shoot some video, show you a bit more of downtown and see what images we can get. I'm still down at Canada Place now I'm waiting for that sunlight to come to get the photographs that I want. I love doing black and white when I'm doing street photography so what we need is those harsh highlights, those dark shadows that I like and obviously a subject to put in the image. Now the place you can see behind us there that's actually Canada Place that's where the cruise ships come in. Now I haven't seen any cruise ships this year and obviously because of the, the Covid um, we haven't got any tourists either, very few tourists this year, so the streets are quite quiet. Uh, which in a way help with the photography, because street photography can be quite hectic. So that's why I get out early in the morning, and it just it makes it a lot easier for photographs. I've brought the 35mm with us today, I'm really excited to use this lens again. You've probably seen in my previous video, I was over on Vancouver Island with Adam Gibbs and had a brilliant time, I really did. Uh, but all the photographs that I took were with this lens. I'm really enjoying it. The versatility is amazing. You know, I can go out, I can do my street photography, I can use it for landscapes. It's got a 67 mil filter thread, so I can put my polarizer straight on. It really is a fantastic lens. So there's a bit of an update for you. So I've came across the first shot that I like. I was really attracted to the building behind us, which is Canada Place. So I made my way over here. 
Now I'm still waiting for that sunlight. We haven't got any bright sunlight at the moment, but it is starting to burn some of the cloud off. So in time that should happen. Uh, but you'll be able to see the building behind us. I love how white it is. It really is white. It's got some really nice shapes there. Now what attracted us, you'll probably be able to see how white the building is. You've got the lovely shapes and the formations on the building behind us. Um, but you've got these two plant pots. Now they really add some colour to the scene, they really do. Um, and all I'm wanting to do is to get a subject to walk into the shop. I've said to you in the past, if you can pre-focus on an area and wait for a subject to walk into the shop, it always works. And it's an easy way to do street photography rather than shoving the camera in someone's face. On the floor, you've got these leading lines on, these, on this tile where leading over to the background. So it gives you those leading lines. Now, this is an image that will work in black and white, but it will also work in color because we've got these plants behind and the, all that whiteness, they really stand out. So this is the image I'm gonna go for. So all I need now is subject to walk into the shot, pre-focus on the area where I'm gonna expect them to walk and grab the image. But nice little image to start the day. We'll see how it works out. I'll try a variation of f-stops. Like I said, sometimes you can have your subject sharp and the background out of focus. And that's a good thing about street photography. You can really mix it up. You can break the rules and get the image and create it how you want it to look. So we're not having much luck outside with the cloud. We've still got a lot of high cloud there. The sunshine hasn't quite burnt it off yet. It is still pretty much early morning. So I'm hopeful that we'll get some images outside. We'll get those harsh highlights and shadows that I like. But for now, I've came back to the train station where I was in my last video. I'll put those two images up. I was really pleased with those black and whites and how they came out. So I've ventured back in here because you've actually got some nice lighting in here so you can actually use artificial light. I like the way you've got the escalators behind us there. You've got them going down to the trains down below and what it is behind the glass that you can see behind us there, you've got some nice lighting above. So subjects that go up and down the escalator are actually lit up by the light from the, the ceiling there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of the floor. There's a patterned uh, shape in the floor, so I'm going to use that as a leading line, leading over to that escalator, wait for the subject, an interesting subject if possible, to go down the escalator and grab the image. It is really dark in here today because we don't have that sunlight coming in. And I'm also having to bump up my ISO to 500. And what I'm going to do is just focus on the escalator itself so I'm going to pre-focus on that area and just wait for someone to go down and it's as simple as that and grab the image uh, but yeah another interesting image wait for that cloud to disperse and hopefully that sunlight will come out
Well, welcome back, it's day two. I did decide to head home yesterday. I wasn't really coming across any more images in downtown. We did have dull conditions, but we've got dull conditions today. So the weather forecast got, it was wrong for this weekend. It said it was gonna be sunny for all three days. Now it is a forecast of sunshine tomorrow. I know that it's definitely gonna be blue skies, but today it's overcast again. So we'll have to deal with that. I was happy with the images that I got in the morning. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to come out today as well, so that's what I've done. Now yesterday it started to rain, now rain's great for street photography, you can get some really interesting images. Came across a guy on the bench and it looked really nice because he had the umbrella and there was water on his umbrella and I could really single him out by using that wider aperture, so that's one key thing when you're out, if you've got a busy background, blow out the background, use a wider aperture and make your subject stand out. So I'm gonna do pretty much what I done yesterday. I'm just gonna have a good walk around. I was stopped and he had some lunch yesterday and a pigeon decided to relieve itself on my arm. So that was time for me to call it a day and head back home, get showered and cleaned up. So I'm gonna venture onto the street today. Let's see what we can get. So I'm slowly making my way through the streets of downtown, but I'm sure we'll come across some images today. There's still plenty of interest without using that light. You can look for artwork, uh, shapes on the buildings, a bit like yesterday morning where they framed them two ladies. Uh, so I've been coming up this street here and I was particularly attracted to the side of a building. It has got a bit windier, um, but that shouldn't be a problem for what we're photographing today. Now you'll be able to see the artwork on the side of the building there, but when you look from the, across the other side of the street, there's some nice shapes there. There's some nice contrast with the pavement and the white walls in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the, back over to the other side of the street and I'm gonna photograph it straight on and see if I can frame someone within that shot. It is probably gonna be a black and white, so what I'm looking for is a subject with interest, maybe some patterned clothing or something like that. You never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you get an interesting subject, sometimes you don't. Uh, it is a waiting game, it does take time, but persistence pays off, so I'm gonna try for this shot. And then we'll head a bit further up the street, enjoy the day, see what else we can come across. So I've actually made my way out of downtown now and I've decided to head to a place called Granville Island. Now over on Granville Island there's lots of eateries, there's a big market there so those types of places make really good uh, places to go for street photography so I'm going to go in there. Now it involves catching the sea bus over to the island itself, uh, it's just on the other side of the inlet from Vancouver downtown here. So we're going to see what we can get there. I wasn't really coming across any more images in downtown itself. Like I've said, we haven't got that light, so it is quite hard to come across subjects and images to photograph. Uh, the sun is trying to make its way out, uh, but for now I thought, you know what, I'm going to head over to the island. Nice to take the sea bus over. It's just a short trip, uh, but it's quite cheap. I think it's about $3, so I thought, why not take you over there? Thank you. 
So I'm actually over on Granville Island now. I'm in the marketplace that I was on about earlier. Uh, you'll be able to see behind us there's lots of stalls in here. So what I'm going to be looking for in here is just subjects of interest, um, people serving food, things like that. Um, there's some nice lighting in here, nice lighting above the stalls, so it'll make for some good black and whites. Uh, there's plenty of interesting foods here, so plenty of variety to look at. You'll be able to see behind us. Got some lovely interesting cakes in the, on the shelves here. So yeah, just gonna have a general walk about grab images as I go along, so let's see what we can get. Well guys, I survived the marketplace, really enjoyed myself in there. Now the problem being was, it was really hectic, it was really busy, so it was quite hard to get shots. Now not only that, when I got in the marketplace, the more I walked around is, there was actually PVC screens uh, where the stall holders were. So shooting through those PVC, PVC screens made it quite tricky for the images. There was a lot of glare, there was a lot of scratches on some of the screens, so it was hard quite hard to come across shots. Now hopefully I got some shots, I'll cross my fingers, you'll know by now if I did or not, uh, but really did, it was just made a nice change. You know, I've really enjoyed my time in downtown over the last couple of days, and to top it off, go around the market, all those glorious uh, foods, it was really nice. Now I am gonna go back there, I've got a scotch pie there with my name on it, I'm gonna have another wander around, and I'm gonna head back over into downtown. But it is earlier in the afternoon now, we have got sunshine, the sun's finally came out. But for now, I've decided to call it a day, I'm going to go and get that scotch pie and head back into downtown there. But let us know what you thought of today's video, let us know if you like street photography, let us know if you want to try street photography. I'd be really interested to see what you think, you know, it's a lot different to landscape. It can be a lot more challenging because you've really to think out the box and that's why I enjoy it so much. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up. It'll be much appreciated. If you haven't seen my channel before, hit the subscribe button. But from me in downtown Vancouver, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.